Great day, attractive thinkers, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Break, Give Yourself a Fighting Chance. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your identity coach and get to the root specialist, where we provide intangible tools that keep you from seeing your, yourself in your vision. These intangible tools support you in clarifying your vision so that you can see not just your goals and your dreams and the things that you want to accomplish in your life, but you can see yourself in them. You know, that transformation, that change, that thing that you desire to do that's new, this new goal, I don't care what it is, growing a business, writing your book, creating a legacy, traveling the world, changing your identity. I don't care what it is. You need intangible tools to take on this new identity. And this is why we are here because living life beyond a break, be it a break in a success or a heartbreak, you're gonna, it changes your identity. It changes who you are, and you need support. You need tools in place to support this new you. Welcome, my co-host, to Shep Bradshaw, the visual encourager. Happy Mindset Monday, everybody. We made it through another week of power. It is such a wonderful time to be us, to be strong. And as I always believe, it is a great day to be alive. See, it's easy to uh, start out with the definition of trust. You can understand that. But let's go a little bit deeper. Sometimes in order to understand what something means, you have to understand what it means when you don't have it. How many of us walk across the floor trusting that it was built the way that it was supposed to be built? Trusting that the men who put the wood together, put the nails in the way they were supposed to, they did the glue the way they were supposed to, is sitting on top of the other wood the way it's supposed to. You know, they built the foundation. We run, jump, dance, have a nerve to chase, you know, playing hide and seek across the floor. We hear a creak in the floor and we will still run and jump on it as if that creak is not there. That's the kind of trust we have to have in Beyond the Break. So Beyond the Break, when we talk about Beyond the Break, that life that is, um, is, is, is at the end of that tunnel, that light that you are seeking after, you know, after you had that heartbreak, or like Dr. Tony said, that break in success, there's a light that is produced out of the break. So when you trust the break, you're trusting the birthing process of the production that's being put in you. A lot of times we don't know the cost we don't know what it is costing us to not be able to trust a thing or a person, a person or a thing. But when we talk about trust beyond the break, we're talking about trusting that breaking process. You are too one of the front runners because you matter. The work you put through matter. As long as you're doing what you're doing in joy and in love, do it to the best of your ability. You deserve to be out here, to be nourished, to be cherished, and you deserve to be trusted. So we got to start somewhere and beyond the break, that's where we start. When we experience these breaks in our lives, we think that that's the end. We think that's it. Or we think that that's the, the worst thing that can happen. Or we feel lost in a break. We feel lost, be it a heartbreak or a break in a success. We feel lost. We're like, okay, now who am I? Like, where do I go from here? What do I do now? What is life now? Where's the meaning? I had a grip, you know, a while ago. I had a grip and this was so unexpected. I didn't expect this to happen. And let me share something with you. A break doesn't necessarily mean a heartbreak or a break in a success. We experience breaks even as children. Faith and trust go hand in hand. It's hard to have faith in something you don't have trust in. It's hard to believe in something you have to question every five minutes. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Sometimes I feel like we have to be okay with not having things all, not having all the ducks lined up in a row, not being such a perfectionist, not being always in total control. Sometimes you have to lose control in order to get somewhere you want to go. Trusting beyond that break, that, that, that lifestyle. So really a break is, because you said to Shet, a life is produced out of the break. The break is you 
leaving who you used to be and embracing who you're going to be. That break, and we have to trust that. See, if we can take our eyes off of the break, because let's, let's use heartbreak, for example. And I know that's a process. It, it doesn't happen overnight, but as attractive thinkers, we go through heartbreak differently. We understand that it's a process and that it's not going to feel, it's not going to feel like this all of the time. And it's not going to be like this all of the time. So we trust the process. Why? Because we know who we are. You remember to share, we talked about that years ago, establishing who you are before life knocks on your door. That's key. When you establish who you are, you have the goods and you have the tools and you have the resources to handle life's challenges and obstacles and unexpected experiences. But when you don't know who you are now, life is knocking on your door, handing you something that you didn't even expect or didn't even ask for, and you don't even know who you are in the process. So because you don't know who you are, nine times out of 10, you're looking at this this thing that life is handing you, this break in your current lifestyle as um, a negative, as an obstacle, as a challenge, as the end of you, as, as this is it, as I, I can't do anymore, I'm done. How many times have we said that to ourselves, I'm done, and we really weren't done. We were just done with that, that, that thing that was presented to us. We feel like it broke us down to the core and we had nothing left. But trusting beyond the break means trust that you're becoming new. Trust that this break was necessary to give birth to a greater version of yourself. The break gives birth to greatness. But let's discern today. The break is a good thing. It was an interruption. It was necessary to expose the good fruit that's in me. The seeds that I planted, I'm gonna trust the process that it's gonna sprout and give me and allow me to have the production and the harvest that I called for. I'm gonna trust the process. Everything that's attached to me is hold me. Everywhere I tread my foot upon, I'm gonna receive that. That is the promise. The promises of God is yes and amen. And when we trust and believe that, we will receive it. You best believe it. Letting go happens inside. I made the decision to trust, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I felt my two persons, I felt two bodies. My outer body, I felt the wind hitting up against my outer body, but there, I felt uh, there was another inner being that had arms and legs, and it, it was inside of me. And when I let that person go, that's when I began to float on air. And it was incredible. It was my first experience, but because I was determined, because I had already made up my mind that I was gonna trust this process and I was gonna get something out of it. If he could float on air, so can I. So we're here to encourage you, attractive thinker, to trust beyond the break. It will not kill you. It will not kill you, but it will reveal, it will present an opportunity to you for you to learn how to live on another level, for you to learn how to release a greater version of yourself, to give birth to yourself, give birth to yourself, give birth to yourself. You are endless and there is no end to you. All that you've accomplished up to this point is nothing compared to what you're capable of, but you have to trust beyond the break. You're now understanding that your heart and your spirit is everything and it affects everything. Guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life. Out of it flows the issues in your relationships, be it business or personal. Out of it flows the decisions that you make concerning your finances. Out of it flows how you handle your family and your children. Out of it flows your, how you handle or create an environment where you can thrive. Out of it flows your health, how you handle this body, this temple that you live in, this incredible body that we have to live in for, and, and as long as we're breathing. So if our heart, our spirit, whatever affects our spirit affects all of that, that should get our attention. That sh we should hold that high. So when something happens to the heart, it happens to the whole. So when we say, if your heart isn't in it, we want you to assess 
Rather you are doing something halfway and getting in the way, or whether you are doing it whole, out of your whole being, out of the spirit in great power. Without the heart, do we really have power? Is there power to do anything? When your heart is broken, do you feel that power? If your heart is whole, do you feel enlightenment? Do you feel encouraged? You know, we give out these episodes out of our heart. We're doing this with all of our heart. And so with it, there's a spirit that comes and flows through us that comes and uh, give you a message that resonates, but it doesn't just give you the message. It gives us a message too. It feeds you and it feeds us. So when you're doing things with your heart in it, it's, it's, it goes both ways. It's blessed giving and blessed receiving. So that's what I believe the heart is. It is the life source. It is that place where our spirit is. It is our connectivity. It's our electricity. It's the reason why we are. You get to a point, a track of thinking, where you realize your heart is not for sale. It's not up for grabs. Because once something gets in your heart, it has access to everything about you. It's just like the key to your vault. Once somebody gets the key to the vault at the bank, they have access to everything. And it's the same thing with our heart and our spirit. When you walk away from this message today, I want you to put a high price, a high value on your heart and your spirit. Don't allow everything to get in your spirit because once it gets in your spirit, it gets in you. And what's in you gets access to your money, your relationships, your health, your wealth, your business, your environment. It has free course to run and ramp it all throughout everything that means anything to you. You. So now you, you have to assess and you look and say, wait, 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 wait. This is my heart here. You're giving out of your heart. You're not giving with sorrow because you understand the difference with giving out of your heart is that you know that spiritually there's an investment because everything you sow, you are so reap. If you're giving out of your, if you're giving and you're not giving out of your heart, you are spending it. So if you're giving somebody, if you're giving away your energy and your heart is not in it, that is not an investment. You spent your energy, you're not giving that back. You're not getting that back. You, you, if you give out of your heart, then when you're giving, it also gives back into you, pressed down, shaking together and running over. You have to make people qualify to have access to something so valuable about you. To, to have access to your heart, to have access to your spirit. Your spirit is where your life force is. We have to make people qualified to have access to something so precious. Your heart, your spirit. And we can break our own hearts by not owning our value, by not valuing who we are, by not seeing us as value, seeing yourself as a treasure. When you don't see yourself as a treasure, you allow anything access to you. It is what you believe that makes your experience better. When you get to the core of your belief about you being a gift and you understand that you need to tend to your heart, that your heart is of value, you will change the way you do things. You'll change the way you see a thing. You know, uh, and like Dr. Tony said, I'm the visual encourager, right? But I wasn't always encouraged. My encouragement came out of me being broken for so long and me having to learn how to encourage myself, me learning how to encourage others in the midst of feeling broken. When you lost who you are, you lost everything, right? So when you can't seem to find your footing, and you can't seem to find yourself, search your heart. This message is setting you on a path to search, to, 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 to pay attention, to extract the lesson and the blessing because your heart is valuable. And it does mean something, it does matter that your heart is broken. We do care that your heart broke, but what actually broke when your heart broke? That's up to you to discover because that's where your real treasure is. And I promise you, because me and Tashette have, have both experienced heartbreak, multiple heartbreaks in, in several areas. The attractive thinker wouldn't even exist had not my heart been broken. 
When my heart broke, the attractive thinker was born. It came out, it leaked out. It was in there. I didn't know it was in there. See, that's another thing. When your heart breaks, it reveals treasure that you didn't even know you had. You have to understand the cycle of stuff. You learn it so you can teach it, so you can learn it, so you can teach it. Everything is a cycle. You bring it in, you put it out. You bring it in, you put it out. The same thing with your energy. You put out positive energy, you bring back positive energy. Put out positive energy, bring back positive energy. And you might say, I was having a good day bringing, um, putting out positive energy and then this negative thing happened. How you identify with what happened is what makes it positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Identifying with something happening to you versus for you, you might make that into a negative experience. But when you understand that it happened for you and not to you, you turn it into a positive experience. So just because that thing happened to you does not have to be a negative experience. You said, don't get caught up in the whoa, 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 what just happened? Whoa, why did this happen? You said, don't get caught up in the shoulda, coulda, woulda. You said, flip the script from the shoulda, coulda, woulda to now what? And as soon as you say, now what? You begin to feel possibilities. You feel that shift. As soon as you say, now what? It's like you just open the door where, where endless possibilities exist. You just opened yourself up to life beyond the break. Nothing in your life will change until you do. You have to change first. You have to change in the energy. You might say, well, I didn't call for this to happen. And I didn't. But do you find that you're in the same situations over and over again? Same game, different face. You say it always happens to me. That doesn't seem um not coincidental to you nothing is coincidental all things serve a purpose so if you find yourself in the same situation over and over again then it's time to change either you your environment or the people that you are around something broke and everything changed and now you're not even living in reality you're living in another world and if you're not present and you haven't accepted the world that has been presented to you this unfamiliar place then you're you're living beyond a break but in the old reality can you imagine the trauma and the dysfunction and the self-inflicted pain that we bring upon ourselves when we don't move forward into the space of accepting life beyond a break if you learn anything about life, everything seems to be a cycle, but you gotta make sure you're in the right cycle. It's when you're in the wrong cycle, you gotta break that so that when you're unhappy, you're in a cycle that's not your real life. Mm -hmm. And that's why you gotta break that cycle so that you can, you can create a new life over here. But as you're learning, you're teaching, you teach to learn, you give, you receive, you receive, you give. It's like, it's like saying, you get to give, right? But then the privilege is you get to give. It's a difference in that energy there. You get, meaning you receive, so you give, versus you have the privilege of receiving, so now you give. There's two things with that. So how you view a thing makes all the difference in the world. The energy on it makes all the difference in the world. You're now what can shift and shape your whole entire life when you got the right lenses on. So welcome to Beyond the Break, where we are giving ourselves a fighting chance every single day. We know there's life beyond the break. We know there's so much more beyond the break. We know that all the jewels and the gems we have is gonna, is gonna help us later on in life beyond the break. We didn't give up in the break. Sure, we got every scar to show for. I'll show you my scar. Look, I got this one when I thought I could jump too high, but I learned later I was jumping from the wrong place. You know, we got all these things and we start saying, look, these are my war scars. This is this is this. And we start, and you look at them and you don't look at them with pain. That's how you know you're beyond the break. When you can look back at your life without feeling the pain over and over again, it's not saying it ain't going to move you. It's saying you're not going to look at it with bitterness. When you can look at it and give gratitude based on it all, you have made it beyond the break.
you are going through things, you have to up your protection. You protect what you see, you protect what you hear, and then you have to protect your heart and protect what, what comes out of your mouth. Because again, what comes out of your mouth is gonna go back into your ears and you'll start believing it all over again. It makes it fresh. You know, we experience things over and over and over again. You need to be hearing things that are fine tuning you to who you really are. Hearing things that make you feel fantastic and amazing, even through a tear. I know what that's like, you know, just because you're experiencing something that, that broke your heart doesn't mean you don't cry in your greatness. It doesn't mean that you don't feel sad in your power. See, that's the difference. Attractive thinkers go through things differently. When you know who you are and you know there's greatness inside of you, you know that this is not going to be the end of you. What if there was more for you? What if you did heal from this tremendous heartbreak? What if that breaking of success was also the entry to your next level of success? What if when they ripped away the things you felt were important, it was so that you can receive the things that took you up another level? See, we never know why things happen. And sometimes we just got to trust that it, it's all work out for our good. And it's hard to see that while you're in it, but this is why we have this show to remind you that though you're going through pain, a, or you're going through a break in success, give yourself a fighting chance. You are not what you are feeling. You are what you are going through, but you're not what you're feeling. And we all go through these spectrum of emotions. We're high and excited and joyful, and then something happens and we experience some lower level emotions. And you can still be, you know, in your high vibe and one of those little negative little thoughts trying to squeeze that little nasty emotion up in there can seep through. You know, so it's not like we're all on cloud nine all the time, but when you're experiencing a break, you're in TLC, you're in an intensive care unit and you have to take care of yourself and you have to guard what you're hearing. I want you for a second to just breathe for a second. And then I want you to just let go of everything you're holding on to right now. Rather it's pain, just let go for a second, right? And it's just you as a spirit, as a being. And I want you to, for a second, think about what life, what life would look like in its greatest power, in its greatest moment. Not based on anybody else's opinion, not based on what you did or what you didn't do, what you learned, what you didn't learn. Just based on, if you can have it your way, and you can, how would life be at its greatest, it's more powerful at its fullest to the full extent of it. How would that be if you're a spirit and you wanted to create that? Think about that for a second. Just breathe that in for a moment. I want you to see that because when you see that, you'll see that it changes your mood. It, it lifts you up. How many times in your life you heard something, you said, wow, I needed to hear that right there. Why did you need to hear that? Because faith comes. When you hear something, it turns your spirit on. It turns your light on. It lifts your mood. It, it, it realigns you back into focus. It puts you back on the path. You, that's why you say, I needed to hear that. That's why it's important to don't talk, but just listen. Imagine yourself free for a second. How does that feel? That's great, right? That feels wonderful. That feels amazing. You can have that. That's yours. You have to feel that with positive energy. You have to feel that with positive thoughts, listening to positive things have an inspiration, a uh, motivation. You know, we have, we always talk about that power wall so that your wall can speak to you when you, ain't, when, when, when you can't speak to yourself. That wall will speak to you and encourage you when you can't figure out what to say to get you out of this situation. 
And if you can't, if you cannot think of anything and you don't have a power wall, you can feel free to use mine at www.visualencouragement.com. We have tons of things that can help you and uplift you on my own power wall. And you can build from there if you want. So at visualencouragement.com, we provide mental support for movers and shakers, trailblazers, pathfinders, and groundbreakers, people who desire to move mountains. You just need help lifting the heaviness so that you can create a new vision and live that out for yourself beyond the break. Go to my contact us page, put in your information, let me know how I can uplift you, encourage you, and enlighten you so you can live a life of fulfillment. You deserve it, and it is now your time. Again, you can find me at www.visualencouragement.com. I'll see you soon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So beautifully said. Attractive thinkers, I trust that you have gad gathered and captured the gems from this episode of Beyond the Break. Give yourself a fighting chance. And that's what I want to leave saying to you. Give yourself a fighting chance. Give yourself a fighting chance, attractive thinker. Relax. You know, be who you are. Be all in there. But know that whatever it is that you're going through, when you give yourself a fighting chance, you're doing just that. You're going through it. You're not dying in it. This is not the end. This is the beginning. And I promise you, you will smile again. You will smile again. Always understand that we're here to support you with the mental tools that you need to do that new thing in your life to overcome that break, be it a heartbreak or a break in a success, and to transform, create a new identity. Whatever that new thing is, we've got the tools to help you accomplish that. Visit our website at www.theattractivethinker.guru. Place your, your email and your contact information in the box. You're gonna receive a series of five videos, one video a day, to support you in turning your problems into your solutions. As you begin to hear, and we talked about that today, don't talk, just listen. As you begin to hear the message in those videos, your light will come on, clarity will rise back to the surface, and you'll stand in full confidence knowing that this is not the end, but the beginning. And you'll begin to hear the voice within the voice and discover your own gems that you may have lost along the way. Turn your problems into your solutions right there on the homepage. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your identity coach and get to the root specialist at theattractivethinker.guru. You hear me say it all the time. My life's work, that's to make your life better. It is not what you're going through. It's how you do it. Thank you, attractiveness, and we'll see you soon.